Hi guys, today I'm finally going to share with you the big reveal on my bedroom makeover. It's been a really long time in the making, so I'm going to go ahead and just start talking about it. So the furniture that you see here is the before. It's old and I used to have a different style before my beach theme. I used to have kind of like a wine vineyard kind of theme so that dark furniture went really well. But I actually transitioned into a beach theme like five years ago. So I've had that furniture with my beach theme forever and it just doesn't go. And also I made a decision that I wanted to go from a king size bed to a queen size bed. So this was the perfect opportunity for me to kind of get rid of this old furniture and it was also mix match or mismatched or whatever, however you say it. It was just furniture from different places some Ikea some from like a set that I you know purchased together and it was really old and I also ended up giving it to my friend's daughter she was just out of college she also started her new like teaching job she has a, she had a class so I think she used this nightstand right here in her classroom and then um, I also gave her the bed frame so it just, it was really nice to kind of give it to someone who really needed it, so that is what I ended up doing with the furniture, but all I'm doing here right now is cleaning everything out and getting it ready. I will tell you that this was like a process that took over three or four months because it took me a really long time to determine what I wanted to do with everything. So. The first thing that I did was I ordered my furniture from Nebraska Furniture Mart and at the time I was trying to buy it in pieces because I didn't want to spend too much up front because it was like too much of a shock for me even though I will say that the furniture from Nebraska Furniture Mart is so greatly priced it's comparable to Ikea but it's better than Ikea because it basically comes already assembled except for the bed which you'll see me um, put it together here but like the dressers and the nightstands and the chest of drawers they all came straight out of the box assembled and all I had to do was basically like attach the little base legs to it so that's it I'm gonna just kind of clean some stuff up and I'll let you guys watch this part a little bit and I'll be back So I'm back sooner than I thought, but I just have to point out that I slept like this with my king size mattress on the ground for quite some time because I did decide to go with a queen size bed. So it took a while for my queen bed to get here, but I'll tell you this, I never slept better in my life than I did with my king size mattress on the ground. And it had like a hole in it because it didn't have, you know, the uh, base. What am I doing? And, uh, am I really twirling? Um, but. I literally sank into a hole and it was fantastic. It was like that episode on I Love Lucy where Fred falls into the bed and then Ethel has to like pin him to the side of the bed. Hysterical, but honestly, I felt like I was sleeping in a cocoon and it was fantastic. I honestly miss that. I've talked about this before in other videos, but I have a problem with storage space in this house that I'm in. There's really not like big enough closets except for my closet. I don't know why they made it so big and then made other closets so small. But anyway, I decided that I was going to keep this piece right here. It's from Ikea and I was going to put it in my closet because again, my closet is big enough for it. And I figured it would be a really great way to store my craft items. And eventually, after I got all the furniture from for this room, I moved all of my craft stuff from my TV room into this room. And that way I kind of have it all in one place and I'm not like walking all around the house trying to put all my craft stuff together. So that's what I'm just doing here is I'm putting it in my closet. I mean, I have to tell you, I don't like it in my closet. I feel like, it's too big and uses up too much space and it's not pretty, but I had to do what I had to do. And as I was cleaning and adding my furniture, I was 
as I was cleaning. As I was moving things around, I was cleaning. So I was vacuuming and cleaning the baseboards because you'd be amazed at where dog hair can go. So what I'm doing here now is I'm taking down all of my photos and like trying to rearrange them and because I wanted to commit to a beachy theme, I did end up having to take most of those photos you see at the top and I put them elsewhere throughout my house. So yeah, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm just adding like little touches of like my beach decor and it takes a while sometimes, you know, I don't always nail my decor, sometimes I put it in one spot and then as I get other things, then like I move it around, try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So like these pictures, for example, always used to be up on my wall. Look, this is my daughter, how cute is she when she was at the beach? I think this was like Fort Lauderdale. So adorable. And so she's the centerpiece up here and then I'm going to take those other pictures, which I took myself. Those are pictures I took at the beach. Some are Florida, some are Galveston, I believe. The one where the water has all the seaweed is basically Galveston. So I just frame them in a picture frames from Kohl's, I think, and now they're up there and I think it looks beautiful. I think it really does set the room and this gorgeous little like glass fish is from Ross. Now I'm just showing you my bed. It finally came in and it's a really nice bed so far. I've loved it. but. I do feel like if you sleep in the same spot, it's going to start to sag, which is why I wanted to get rid of the king and go with a queen because I've always heard that kings lose their form a lot faster than a queen. Um, so, but I have to say overall, I really do like the bed. I obviously love it enough that I just ordered my daughter one. So now I'm just putting my bedding together and I get everything off of eBay and for cheap for like $30. And the reason why I do that is because I have a dog and a kid and eventually white is going to be ruined. So why would I go and spend a hundred plus dollars on a comforter when I know that they're going to ruin it? And to, to that point, my daughter ended up getting a stain on it. And I was like, really? So, but I do love white and I wanted it to feel light and airy and beachy. And then this quilt is also from eBay as well as like $30. I actually got it in a king size bed at the time when I still was going back and forth if I wanted to get rid of my king bed, but I, I really love the fit of it and it just sits at the end of my bed like a dust sham or whatever they call it and I wanted it this color because I wanted it to like represent sand. So I'm just adding some decorative pillows which eventually I got rid of. I think the white's a little too much and I'm still in the process of trying to find the right pillows for this room. And now I'm adding the rug. This is probably one of the most expensive pieces of decor aside from my furniture. I hate spending money on rugs, but I have to have them. And I have to say that I do love this rug and it was $1.99 from the at-home store. And I did have to have my daughter and her friend help me, but I didn't want to record that part because I didn't want her friend to really be in the video. And now I'm playing with my puppy and I'm putting some stuff down on it so that it will eventually lay flat. I, I, that rug is gorgeous. I really do love it. I honestly wasn't even going to do a voiceover. I didn't think I had that much to say, but all I've been doing is talking. So now I'm going to add my new lamps. And I'm telling you guys, $34 was a steal compared to other lamps I was shopping for. And this lamp was $34 for all of it. The base, the shade. After I had like, and I was pricing so many lamps out at the at-home store, home goods store. They were all at least 60 bucks for like the whole set. And I just happened to go down the 66% Island Hobby Lobby and found these two matching pieces. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect for my room. It has like this glass base, which I felt was going to be really great because I didn't want the focal point to be my lamps. So it has that beautiful linen shade. And now this is actually part of my, like my mom's suggestion. I don't typically go for anything silver, but I'm glad I did because I can tend to be a little too matchy matchy. You know, I 
probably would have added a bunch of mermaid decor and it would have looked a little too gimmicky beach house. So I'm really glad that she helped me with that. And now I'm at, I'm doing a Dollar Tree DIY. This one's really simple. I'm just doing my signature candlestick with a glass bowl. I'm spray painting it white because I just didn't, I didn't want it to be the focal point. So I'm just keeping it white and neutral. Super easy to do and then I used a hot glue gun to bind it together I will tell you for some reason hot glue doesn't bind glass to glass But if you have a layer of spray paint between them it binds just perfectly I don't know why that is but otherwise if you are binding glass to glass I would use e6000 so next I'm taking Dollar Tree seashells and they have different variations. They have the ones that are like all white, then they have ones that have like a little bit of brown to them. And I'm just filling the bowl up. And I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit girly, so I'm just adding the seashells. And then I'm actually gonna take this pearl necklace that I've always had and I never end up wearing it because I feel like it's always too much even though I loved it at first sight it's just basically costume jewelry I probably got it at Sam Moon's or maybe Charming Charlie's and I figured it would be perfect for this so now I'm just putting it in there and look how girly and chic that looks I absolutely love it it kind of has like a, a touch of a shabby chic which I think is great because it really flatters the white floral in the room as well because the white floral really does look girly as well but like a sophisticated girly now i'm adding the last piece of furniture i really debated forever on what i wanted to do with this wall over here i was actually going to do two chairs a mirror a little footstool because i wanted like a little reading area but I had to have more storage. I just had to have it. So I decided to order the matching chest and I'm really glad I did because it it's what I just needed in this room. I think I'm gonna add another piece of furniture next to it, maybe like a little white footstool. I just haven't found the perfect one. So basically what I use this chest of drawers for is it holds all of my planner stuff. So I'll probably end up doing a video on my organization of this drawer and show you guys what's in it but that will be later on but that's what I decided to do and yeah what am I doing now oh also I got this mirror from Big Lots it was like $30 and I love how perfect it is and it matches so well and but it was super heavy so it took a long time to actually put and that's basically it, you guys. That's what I have going on right now in my room. I hope that you love this makeover. I think that the difference is crazy when you take dark furniture to light furniture. It opens up the room a lot, and be and it just goes better with a beach theme. I felt like the dark furniture was really weighing it down. So I'm so glad that I finally got to do a room for myself. I feel like I'm always redecorating my daughter's room, her TV room, the house, and I always put myself last. So I'm really excited for how it turned out. It's so comfortable and beautiful and I love being in it. Hope that you guys love this video and found it inspirational. I don't know what I spent overall, but Compared to other furniture, I mean, I saved a lot of money. This furniture was really cheap. Like the bed itself was like 300 bucks. Um, the two end nightstands, I think were like 200 each. The big dresser was like three something and the chest was three something. So it was, I mean, pretty cheap comparable to other sets. Um, I did not buy it all in one. I bought them individually because there were just other things in the set that I didn't want. So that's it, you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye!